Disney situation, and then obviously the, the Kyrie situation. And after the Kyrie situation, Kyrie Irving, uh, on Twitter was trending the Jews. I don't believe that censorship and, and penalties are the way to end anti-Semitism or to not gain understanding. I don't believe in that. And I think it's the wrong way for us to approach it. Kyrie Irving, they suspended him from playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Penalizing somebody for having a thought, I don't think is the way to change their minds or, or gain understanding. This is a grown-ass man. And the idea that you would say to him, we're going to put you in a timeout. You have to sit in the corner and stare at the wall until you no longer believe that the Jews controlled the international banking system. Like, we have to get past this in the country, the ability to... Look, people think this. People think Jews control Hollywood. People think Jews control the banks. And to pretend that they don't and to not deal with it in a straightforward manner, we will never gain any kind of understanding with each other. The most interesting thing to come out of this, in my mind, was something Kanye said on his, uh, on his tour that he was doing after he said that, and then he got interviewed by five you know, different people uh, because the media model is arson and conflict. Um, he said something fascinating in my mind. He said, hurt people hurt people. And if the point of all this is then to heal people. The only way to heal a wound is to open it up and cleanse it. And that stings. That hurts. But you have to expose it to air. And I'm afraid that the general tenor of conversation in this country is cover it up, bury it, put it to the outskirts, and don't deal with it. Basically